So welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your 15th Amazing Trick tutorial in the Basic Trick series. In this tutorial we'll be visualizing what the cosine rule is and doing some simple problems. So let's start with labeling triangle sides and angles. As before with the sine rule, the sides are all small case letters and the angles capitals. So here we have side A, angle A, capital A, side B, angle B, capital B, side C, angle C, capital C. So here are the cosine rule equations. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine angle A. B squared is equal to C squared plus A squared minus 2CA cosine angle B. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine angle C. In each case, the square of each side is represented in terms of the other two sides and the included angle. You'll see there is a pattern here. Let's look more closely at the first line of these equations. A squared. A squared is the required side squared and that's equal to b squared plus c squared which is the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus 2bc which is twice the product of these sides multiplied by cosine a. That's the cosine of the angle included between the two sides. So looking again at the equation a squared, the required side squared, is equal to b squared plus c squared, the sum of the squares of the other two sides, minus 2bc, twice the product of these sides, times the cosine of the angle included between the two sides, cosine a. Example number one. In a triangle, a side of 17.9 centimeters and one of 19.2 centimeters include an angle of 37 degrees. Calculate the length of the side opposite to the angle. Here's a diagram. This is a 19.2 centimeter side and a 17.9 centimeter side and the included angle of 37 degrees. We have to find the opposite side, x. Well, first we state that we're using the cosine rule. So we write using the cosine rule and we state the equation a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine angle a. If we now substitute in the values we get x squared equals 19.2 squared plus 17.9 squared minus 2 times 19.2 times 17.9 multiplied by cosine 37 degrees. Now working that out we get x squared is equal to 368.64 plus 320.4 minus 687.36 times 0 0.7986 which gives us 140.1143. So taking the square root, x is equal to 11.8349. So we have our answer, x, the opposite side, to two decimal places is 11.84 centimeters. Example number two. A triangle has sides of 15.5 centimeters, 21.8 centimeters, and 23.6 centimeters. Calculate the size of the angle facing 
the 21.8 centimeter side. And here's our diagram. The 15.5 centimeter side, 21.8 centimeter side, 23.6 centimeter side, our angle theta and the opposite side 21.8 we need to find angle theta. As with the previous example we need to start by quoting the law, the cosine rule and stating the equation. So here we're using the cosine rule a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine angle a. In this problem, it's not a straightforward substitution. We have to change the equation around and make the angle the subject of the equation. We don't have the angle, we have the cosine of the angle, so we have to make the cosine of the angle the subject of the equation. The first stage in doing that is to take the whole expression with the cosine of the angle across to the left hand side of the equation and change its sign. But of course, in reality, all you're doing is adding plus 2bc cosine a to each side. OK, here's the next line. 2bc cosine a plus a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Now, if we take a squared to the right hand side and change its sign, we get 2 bc cosine a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared. Now all that needs to be done to have cosine a on its own is to divide both sides by 2bc and 2bc cancels on the left. So we have cosine a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Now if we uh, change the a to a theta and put some numbers in, we have cosine theta equals 23.6 squared plus 15.5 squared minus 21.8 squared all over 2 times 23.6 times 15.5 which equals 556.96 plus 240.25 minus 475.24 and the whole thing divided by 731.60 into the home straight now this all equals 321.97 divided by 731.60 which equals 0 0.4401 so our angle theta equals cosine minus 1 0 0.4401 which comes to 63.8897 degrees so our answer is angle theta equals 63 point eight nine degrees to two decimal places. And that's all folks. In the next tutorial we will be looking at triangle area. There will of course be lots of work examples to help you out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Oh and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest fit. See you soon.